hey everyone welcome to coding simplified and in this video we'll see that how we can download and install the visual studio in your system so for that uh, you can go to google or bing and then here you can write download visual studio and here it will give you this first link so here you can go uh, and then we have different versions of the visual studio like the latest version is visual studio 2022 so whenever you see this video so according to the latest version you can install the latest one so like this one is 2022 similarly before that we even have like uh, visual studio 2000 uh, 2019 2019 which is also very famous so in this case what we'll do we'll basically install the latest version which is visual studio 2022 here we have the three options we have the community version we have the professional version and we have the enterprise version so let's say if you are just like a student or if you are an independent person who is just trying to uh, you know work on the visual studio so for that even you can uh, download the community version so community version uh, might not have all the features that is available in the professional or in the enterprise version and definitely because it's a free so it doesn't have all the uh, all all these features right but as a as a good start you can download this one but if you are a professional or if you are working in the enterprise so for that basically you can download this enterprise version or the professional version so let's say we are basically uh, going for the enterprise version in the and it is 90 days are free for this so now you can save the visual studio uh, installer and then here click on this one click on yes and then here uh, it says that before you need started we need to set a few things so that you can configure installation ok continue this so it says it's downloaded and it is installed and now it's uh, so this is just installer right and now it has launched the uh, the configuration so basically what it does that as soon as we have you have downloaded the installer and you have installed this so after running there are so many components of this right so according to our need it will download those SDK right so let's say if you are working for if you want to develop or if you want to work for ASP.NET or the web development or the ASP.NET so for that you can click on this one right let's say if you want to work on Azure let's say if you want to work on Azure functions Azure a service fabric or Azure PowerShell so for that you can download you can uh, download this HDK now similarly if you want to work on Python so you can click on this one uh, now let's say if you want to so let's say uh, I click on this one as well now if you want to develop uh, the node.js by Visual Studio you can click on this one but for me it's not needed uh, then let's see some more options so here uh, yeah desktop and mobile so this was basically for the web and cloud let's see if you are working for the web websites for the web or the cloud then you may want to download this one but let's say if you want to create the desktop application or the mobile application via visual studio then you may want to configure this one so what is this this is dotnet multi-platform api development so according to your requirement via this you can build the android ios and windows uh, from a single code base using c sharp with the .NET MUI so if you want to work on this one click on this one now here this is .NET uh, desktop development so via this basically we can build the WPF or the Windows Forms or the console application using C Sharp or Visual Basic or F, or F Sharp right now here this is desktop development with C++ so if you want to work on C++ you can click on this one then here we have the UWP application so if you want to develop the UWP application it will download the UWP SDK so uh, here we can click on this one similarly if you want to mobile development for c++ then you can click on this one for me it's not needed uh, for gaming yeah if you want to develop some game via unity so you can click on this one otherwise that's fine now there are some other tool set as well uh, like data storage processing data science visual studio extension development office linux yeah so depending on your requirement you can install the versions so currently we have like selected the uh, selected the component that we want now here you see two options when is one is install while downloading and other is uh, download all then install so i think this is very optimized thing because as soon as it has downloaded the particular component then it will install this 
so we should always click on the install while downloading and then we should click on the install one so you see that it was showing that it will take around 15 GB so definitely it's a heavy thing because uh, because you are downloading so much so many SDK so depending on your component let's say if you want to if you are just developing or if you are just downloading only one SDK in this case it will not be that it will not take that space right but for me because I selected many options so that is why uh, that is why it basically provided me that 15 GB options so now what it is doing uh, it is saying that first of all it updated the Windows st Studio Installer so that is fine now it is downloading and verifying and then as soon as something is downloaded then it will install this one so currently the installing is zero uh, but <coughs> we will see uh, that as soon as it goes further it will start the installing as well So here we can see now it has also started the installing part as well and we have also selected the start after installation so as soon as the installation is done it will start our visual studio also uh, don't be confused by these options basically in my system i have 2019 visual studio 2019 is, is also installed that is what is showing this uh, 2022 preview is also installed that is what is showing this and this one is also installed but for you uh, because you have downloaded only this one so it will be showing only these options right so let's wait uh, for it to be complete so it's saying like it's installing and 99% uh, is complete so it's in last phase and finishing up okay so now uh, it is installed and now it is launching the Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 version uh, because the installation is complete and because we selected on start after installation so that's why uh, it is starting the Visual Studio uh, and meanwhile it says that uh, it has installed the Visual Studio Enterprise 2022 version as 17.3.6 so this was our installer uh, and uh, here basically via the installer we can get all the information what the version is like currently uh, the version of 2020 version is this the version of 2019 version is this and let's say uh, even if you want to modify later something or if you want to install something later so we can go in modify and then we can select more option uh, or we can uh, basically update accordingly so like you can see like these are the options we selected earlier now let's say uh, if i want to search if i want to click on node.js as well so as soon as i click and i can do it uh, modify and then it will install so basically uh, this is how we can even modify the other components as well right so let's say if i want to create the new versions for this one so here uh, we can basically create a new project and here we can select uh, components so let's say uh, just to test we can select the console application so I'm just creating very basic application just for the understanding and then we can and then according to your requirement you can do any project so here we can select the project name location and the solution name so let's say uh, the project name is uh, console app uh, visual VS Visual Studio 2022 version uh, test this is what we are doing this is doing in my uh, this repo uh, this location and if I go next here it will go uh, it will basically here from here we can select two options either .NET go to 3.1 or .NET 6.0 so we can select uh, 6.0 we can select on create so this is a project uh, and solution which is created by Visual Studio and now we can just run it to test that whether everything is fine so what it will do it will just print the hello world in the console so just run this application yep so here we can see that it has printed the hello world and uh, we are all set so now uh, we are all good we have seen that our project is running and we are all good to uh, create the new components and new projects uh, in the visual studio 
so that's all guys for this video in this video we saw that how we can download and install the visual studio uh, in your windows and then we also saw that how we can install the different components as per your need whether it's a uwp application or asp.net application or any other application that you want to create via visual studio so in case you have any questions please write in the comment section and please let me know your feedback if you have liked the video please like it and please subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.